Good morning, Mom. I am ready for school. Okay, Hannah, did you read your Bible and take your breakfast? Yes, Mom. I did. Remember, you can be anything you want to be, because you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. Bye, Mom. Okay, dear. Bye. Hi, Joy. Good morning. Morning, Hannah. Our final examination is coming up soon. We need to be serious and read more. What do you think, Joy? Yes, you are right, Hannah. We need to read and pass to make our parents proud. By the way, Joy, what course do you want to read after school? I love counting figures, so I will go for accounting. I want to be a doctor so I can help treat sick people and make them well. Wow. That is my Dr. Hannah in the making. You can say that again. The only thing that can hinder me now is money. Medical courses in the university are very expensive. Don't worry, when you get to that bridge you will cross it. For now let's focus on our examination. Yes, you are right, Joy. Hello class, the final year examination starts today. Please clear your tables and let's get started. Do you understand? Yes sir. Yes sir. Mom, finally, we are done with the final year examination. Wow, congratulations my child. So what's next? Come and sit down. Yes, Mom. I want to further my education. I want to be a medical doctor. Wow, that's a big dream. The only problem is the tuition fee. Medical courses are expensive, Mom. I have always told you not to think of your own insufficiency. We serve a God that can do all things. The Bible says in Matthew 19:26, But Jesus beheld them, and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. With you it may sound impossible, but not with God. So, set your mind on God who can make it possible for you. Do you understand? Yes, Mom. Thanks. What are you up to, young lady? Hi, Mom. I am trying to search for the best university to study medicine. I have prayed for the Holy Spirit to lead me in the selection process. Okay, great. Hi, Hannah. Our results are out. I will be in school tomorrow. Are you coming too? Hello, Joy. Our results are out. That's perfect. Yes. I will. Thanks for letting me know. I pass Joy. Thank you Jesus. I pass too Hannah. Thank God for his faithfulness. Hi mom, I passed my examination. Wow, I am super happy for you. Mom, I got an admission in one of the schools I applied to. But you said nothing is impossible for God to do. Where is the tuition fee mom? Don't worry sweetheart, the Lord will provide. I will send you to one of your uncle, Mr. Michael. Per adventure, he can help us out. I will give you the address of his office in town. Mom, are you sure this will work? There's no harm in trying, dear. Okay, Mom. Good morning, Uncle. Is that you, Hannah, my late brother's daughter? Yes, I am the one, sir. How are you doing and how is your mom? We are doing fine, sir. Please sit down, Hannah. Thank you, sir. So, Hannah, what brings you here? I just finished my high school and I will like to proceed to the university. But there is a little problem, sir. Yes, what is it? There is no money to further my education, sir. So my mom said I should come and see you to see if you can help me out. Wow, Hannah, I would have loved to help but my business is not doing well at the moment. There is no money here. But why did you want to go to school? You could have easily learn a trade and start selling something. You can also get married. You are old enough to go to your husband's house. That way, your husband can take care of you and your mom. Do you understand? No sir. I want to go to school to become a medical doctor. Thanks for your advice anyway. I will like to leave now. My mom is waiting for me at home. Okay, do as you want. You children of nowadays don't like to listen to good advice. Greet your mom for me. Okay, sir. Mom am back. Can you imagine what uncle told me to do? What did he say? He said I should go and learn a trade or get married. He said there is no money. I have always known him to be a stingy man. 
I just wanted us to try all the options we have on ground. It is okay, mom. Hey, Joy my friend. How are you doing? Wow. Hannah my friend. I am fine and you. I am fine too. I have a good news for you. What is it? I will soon be going to the university. I got the letter of admission this week. So, I am making preparations to go. How far about you? I got admission too, but there is no money. Oh no, don't worry. God will provide for you. But why don't you try applying for scholarships? It will help you. Yeah, you are right. Thanks. You are welcome, my friend. Are you still searching for schools? No, mom. I saw my friend from school today. She said I should start applying for scholarships. That I can get the money from there. Oh, that's a great idea. May God grant you favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, mom. Hi, Hannah. Good to see you. Hi, Clareth. I am fine and you. I am fine too. Do you live around this area? My house is down the street. No, I came to see a friend. I will be going to the university next week. So I came to tell them. Wow. You are going to the university. I got an admission at a prestigious university in the state to study medicine, but there is no money for school fees. You mean you don't have the money? You are a beautiful girl, Hannah. You should know how to get what you want. That is what I am doing. I am using what I have to get what I need. Wow. Clara. Can you explain that statement use what you have to get what you need? You won't understand it in words. Until you see how it is done. If you are interested, I will show you how it is done. Yes, I am interested. Please show me how it is done. I need money urgently for my tuition fees. Okay, let's meet by the bus stop tomorrow evening. I will take you to where I get money anytime I need it. Thank you, Clara. You're welcome. Mom, God has answered our prayers. Now I believe that nothing is impossible for God to do. What? Answered what prayers? How? Calm down, Mom. I will tell you. I met Clara, one of my classmates in high school. She got an admission into a university, and she is going to school next week. She doesn't have money too, like me but she found a way to get it. She told me she will show me what she did. So, I will be going out with her tomorrow evening. What kind of work or business is that? She didn't tell me mom. She said I can't understand it in words until she shows me. Him, Hannah, you need to be careful with your so-called classmates. I don't know what she is into, but my spirit doesn't agree with it. The Bible says in Proverbs 13 11, wealth gained quickly will dwindle away, but the one who gathers it little by little will become rich. Don't be in hurry to get the money. Wait on God, he will provide for you. The Bible says in Philippians 4 19, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Wait on God, Hannah. Yes, mom I know. But what if God wants to use my classmate Clara for me? Let me just go and see. I promise I will be very careful. Okay, I have warned you enough. Do what you feel is right. Thank you, Mom. Hi, Hannah, you are welcome. Thanks, Clara. We can go now. Okay. We are there. That's the house over there. Okay. Please feel comfortable, Hannah. A guest will be with you shortly. I am still around. A guest. Who is that? Don't worry, Hannah. He will tell you all you need to do to get what you want. Okay. Hey, how are you fine babe? I am fine thanks. My name is Richard, what's your name? My name is Hannah. Okay, let's get to it. Follow me. Where are we going? Don't worry you will get all the money you need. What are we doing in the bedroom? I will show you. You will get all the money you need for your school. Don't you want the money anymore? I don't know. Okay, enough of the talk. Let's get to work. What's the meaning of that? Okay, get on the bed. No, I don't want the money again. Please leave me alone. I don't want to do this. Mom, I am sorry I disobeyed you. Please mom forgive me. Hey, Hannah, what happened? 
Clara took me to a place where a man was waiting to sleep with me and give me the money I need. What? That must be a brothel. God almighty, what have you gotten yourself into because of money? And I warned you. Mom, I didn't do it. I ran out of the place. I warned you not to go but you wouldn't listen. God is able to supply your needs. But mom time is going. I don't want to miss the admission. Put your trust in God. The word of God says in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. Trust in God completely. Don't rely on your own reasoning or thinking because God can do exceedingly and abundantly above what you think or imagine. He is God. Okay. Mom, from now on, I will trust him. Good. Mom, I don't want to sit at home waiting for God to provide for me. I want to go and search for work and see how much I can gather together for the school. That's a good idea. What do you have in mind? There is a tech store down the street. I will go and ask if I can assist the woman to sell and get paid in return. That's a good idea. God will see you through. Amen. Mom. Good morning, Ma. Yes, good morning. How may I help you? I am searching for work, Ma. Do you need any assistance here? Hmm, yeah I do. I will be resuming work next week and I need someone to stay here and sell for me. Can you do it? Yes, Ma. I can. Okay, great. You can resume next week. When you come, we will talk about the salary. Thank you, Ma. You are welcome. Please come early. Okay, Ma. I will. Mom, I got the job of an assistant in the tech shop. Wow, that's great. Make sure you save your money very well. Yes, Mom. I will. Hello, please do you have Android phones here? You are welcome to our tech store. Yes, we have Android phones. Please go to the left hand side over there. You will find different brands of Android phones. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hannah dear, sorry I can't pay your salary this month. I use the income to order for more goods. I will pay you as soon as money comes in. Ah uh, ma, I wanted to save the money for my school fees. I am so sorry please. I will pay you. Okay, ma. Oh god, what's the meaning of all these lord? I wanted to make money for my school fees legally but the money won't still come even after I have worked for 30 good days. What will I do now? Should I resign and look for another job? Should I get married and forget about all these troubles? Lord, please help me. Hey, Hannah, what's wrong? You did not come out for dinner. What is it? Mom, it's my work. My boss said she will not be able to pay me my first salary because she used all the money that came in to order for more goods. She said she will pay me as soon as money comes in. Mom, that means no salary for me. What kind of life is this mom? Hey Hannah, stop overthinking things. She didn't say no salary for you. She promised to pay, so, wait for it. Mom, I feel like resigning to look for another job. No, don't do that. Look beyond the salary. Maybe the Lord will bring a helper your way someday. God works in mysterious ways. So, look beyond what you are going through and expect the best of God there. Okay, mom. That's my girl. Hi, good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to our tech store. How may I help you, sir? Him. My name is Jaira. What's your name? My name is Hannah. Hannah, have you finished your university education? No, sir. I am looking for my tuition fees. Okay. I have a scholarship funds for youths who want to further their education but have no money to do so. Will you like to apply? Yes, sir. I will love to apply. Thank you. Great. I will drop my business card. It contains the website address of the program. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations, my child. You see what I have been telling you. There is nothing too hard for God to do. The enemy may make the mountain bigger but the word of God says nothing is too hard for God. As you go to the medical school, go with God and always know that nothing is too hard for God to do. 
Do you understand? Yes, Mom. Nothing is too hard for God to do. Thank you, Mom. I will miss you. I will be going to school next week. I will miss you too, dear. It is for the best. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, I am a medical doctor. Truly, there is nothing too hard for God to do. Can you see what the Lord did for me? He can do much more for you if you walk in his ways. Your dream can become a reality through God. Receive the strength to walk with God in Jesus' name. Amen. Please subscribe to this channel, press the notification bell to receive alerts when we publish great videos like this. Lastly leave a comment below. Thanks.